This is a video walkthrough of the Swift Chamonix. It's a 38 by 12 two bed from 2008. It's got double glazing, gas central heating. It's also got the front outlook doors and a galvanized chassis. And it's priced at 18,995. Have a quick look around, check out the uh, layout and condition and those sorts of things. As you can see here in the living area, we've got two freestanding armchairs. They would have originally been probably an L-shaped sofa or something fitted um, in the living room here where the space is. But as I say, as it stands, it's just got the two single armchairs. They are included in the sale, but they could be removed if you wanted to fit your own furniture um, and just have an empty space here to, to play with. Got a little TV table at the front here in the corner. Turn and you can see a large gas radiator there for the central heating. As I say, probably would have been covered originally by the sofa that was fitted. But as you can see, it's now on display. Turning to this side, you've got a wooden mantelpiece there with an electric fire. And you've got your mirror above. Got blinds fitted in the front end here. You've got obviously the outlook doors, which give you a lot of glass. But then you've got these tall, almost floor to ceiling windows on the side. Um, or the, two, uh, the, the door side there front and then your two front windows as well as then um, the side window here um, which is a smaller window. Coming through towards the dining area you've got a nice little uh, looky through here as you can see I'll pass the camera through this bit the window there it's just a, uh, a look through but you have got a blind that you could put down there if you wanted to. Got a dining table here with four chairs. Got a couple of smaller leaves on the sides of those to extend that slightly, uh, but not too much as a smaller table. Fridge freeze over there. Probably would have originally had an integrated appliance, but that's been removed over time for the freestanding fridge freezer. And then turning to our left here, you can see our kitchen. Everything in here needs a really good clean, um, so just bear that in mind. Um, but as it stands, um, you can see your cupboard doors, below and around the kitchen sink and then your gas oven and hob and grill on the right hand side. Also got the added benefit of a Velux window that is over the top of our kitchen area um, which is nice to have. It's got a blind built into it and that gives nice extra daylight into the living uh, into the living kitchen space here um, especially in the winter in those darker days. Don't really need it today because it's bright sunshine but um, you can always open that up for ventilation and for some extra light. You've got one exterior door on the side, obviously into the kitchen dining area here. But obviously, you do have those front outlook doors as well. And then in the corner here, next to the exterior door, we find our Morco um, FEB 24E, which is our central heating boiler. So walking through, then we've got a door here that separates off our living and bedroom quarters. And walking to the back of the caravan to look at our main bedroom, you can see lots of storage in here. Um, on the left hand side and you can see our good sized double bed which does feature a lift up uh, bed frame uh, but the let's see if I can do it no it looks like the arms have gone on there so I can't quite lift that up with one arm um, at that angle um, but you do have that um, lift up bed there for um, additional storage spinning round you can see on our other side here We've got nice um, mirrored cupboard doors as well as the mirror on the wall there, plus your sort of desk area for getting ready. And at the foot end of the beds, you've got a lot of wardrobe space there. Um, the right hand piece, you can see there's three handles there. One, two, three. That's all storage. The right hand piece is actually the back of the shower for the ensuite. So there's no handle on there. Um, that's just a fixed position um, there. So no, uh, no uh, opening cupboard there. Um, you've got a window on the rear of the caravan, as you can see. Just to give you this, standing on things in here, and give you this view of the bedroom here. Very good sized bedroom with it being a 38 by 12. So the door here then into the ensuite, which is an ensuite shower, as I just mentioned. So you've got toilet and sink. A towel rail there running off the gas for the central heating, and then your um, shower enclosure. It's quite a low one, um, which is good. As you can see, just a standard sort of lip on, on the shower compared to some of the older caravans which have quite a big uh, step up into them. Turning to our right hand side here, our twin room. Again, needs a good clean in here, but as it is, it's just currently set up with one single bed base in here. There is an additional headboard there, which is in the, in the plastic bag, 
um, which could go back on the wall and turn it into a twin room or we can leave it as it is as a single room or remove the beds entirely if you prefer table there is for a television you've got a wardrobe there and then another gas radiator back to the hallway and spinning around on the same side as the ensuite so next to the ensuite along this side of the caravan you've then got another shower bathroom bathroom sink and toilet and shower slightly wider door and wider enclosure in the bathroom than there is in the ensuite so coming back out of there and stepping outside through the side door needs a bit of a shove quite level here it's good clean as i said on the outside and the inside the front barge boards coming away needs refixing just needs a couple of screws into the uh, barge board on the front here to fix it in um, just where it's come away panels down the offside there look fairly decent and tidy panels on the front look okay just had a wash off obviously it's going to look a lot tidier chassis wise uh, it's got galvanized chassis as you can see so no problems there so that's our swift chamonix uh, 38 by 12 two bed from 2008 it's uh 18995 and it's got double glazing gas entry and it's also got your front outlook doors and galvanized chassis